It's been a long time since I've been able to say this to Sean Ross Sapp. Let's go to stupid people. Oh, boy. Stupid people is what this segment's called. People falling, people crashing, people smacked right in the balls. Silly, weird, drunk, or stoned, or chased by animals. Know your news tonight brings you the stupid people. Stupid people, stupid people, stupid people. We're putting that guy's kids through college. Some tells me they might already be. Yeah, call yeah it, maybe. Call it I, a hunch. I, when when that fired up, I was like, "Is that the one that we used to use?" And then I, I heard I heard all the new references, and I was like, "No, wow, look at yeah. him!" Yeah, got Trevor, it redone. Tre- Trevor two checks over here, getting paid right. multiple times. Yep, kudos to, to Trevor Strong. So this one, this is reported by the Dallas Morning News. Prior to getting married, did you ever in your life have a roommate? I mean, technically, uh, my cousin and I lived together. So, yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Do you remember ever having an argument either with your roommate or even with your wife over something really, really dumb? I don't argue a ton, but um, in college, yes. I had a roommate who would stay up until 4 a.m. and play video games, like computer games. And the computer is like four feet away from where I slept. So it'd be very, very loud. And uh, yeah, we, we got into it over that. All right. Well, a 43-year-old man named Victor Simone Shavers was arrested and he faces a charge of aggravated assault after he beat his roommate with a stick during an argument. What were they arguing about, Sean Ross? At? Who was going to get the takeout? They were debating about what a mosquito looks like. What? I guess it's a confusing thing to figure out what a mosquito looks like. According to an arrest warrant affidavit, police arrived at the home and they found Shaver's roommate standing outside with his face bloodied. Shaver's was sitting on his bed with blood on his head and hand. The two were talking about what a mosquito looks like. It turned into an argument. Shaver's grabbed the stick. His roommate grabbed a metal bat and hit (laughs) hit Shaver's back. The roommate had deep cuts on his left cheek and side of his head. He required multiple stitches. Shavers had a cut on the back of his head and a possible broken hand. And uh, when Shavers was placed in custody, they discovered that there was also a misdemeanor against him uh, from a family family violence assault. And so he is being held, Sean Rossap. All started trying to figure out what the hell a mosquito looks like. Now, did this originate from the classic, there's a skeeter on my Peter, knock it off. There's a skeeter on my Peter. Knock it off. And other dude goes, I, I don't know what a skeeter looks like. What is a skeeter? Were they arguing over that? Or were they both determined that they knew what a mosquito looked like and disagreed with it? Maybe one was singing the song and the other was demanding to have a peek. Okay. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah. All right, let's move on. This is reported by Axios.com. Now, let me ask you this. So you are a news journalist. You are a respected <laughs> pro wrestling news journalist. I imagine that sometimes you have to decipher whether a story is real or if it's someone making it up for the sake of getting attention. Oh, every day, every Every day. day. Are there any memorable examples you can think of where somebody was adamant about a news story and you were able to determine that they were just trying to draw attention onto themselves and it was completely made. Oh yeah. Multiple times, at least once every few weeks. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, Russian influencers, are protesting a policy by the French luxury goods maker Chanel to stop the sale of the products in Russia. Obviously, Chanel is complying with the European yeah. Union sanctions, uh, prohibiting the sale of the products in Russia because of uh, the war in Ukraine. There are a pair of Instagram models, and hopefully I don't mis- uh, mispronounce her names. One is Marina Ermashkina, and the other is Katya Guseva. And they decided to take action by posting videos on Instagram, protesting... Chanel not being able to sell the products in Russia. What are they doing to uh, to protest, Sean? See, when you leave it open-ended like this for me, um, <clears throat> I'm going to think it's something ridiculous. Like, I'm thinking they're crapping in their hands and throwing it up against the walls or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> to protest Chanel. That's what they're doing. To protest okay, Chanel. now here's the thing. If I picked something completely tame, you'd be like, no. They're crapping in their hands and throwing it up against the wall. (laughs) Duh. What are you thinking? Well, in this case, they're cutting up Chanel bags on the video. 
And there's a third Instagram influencer. Her name is Victoria Banya. She did the same thing and she made this comment. This is a quote from her. If Chanel House does not respect their clients, why do we have to respect Chanel House? So they're cutting up expensive bags on Instagram. I got to tell you, Sean, that'll teach them. Yeah. That'll show Chanel. Oh my God. So when I hear this story, do you think that that's made up, you know, for the sake of getting attention? Or do you think that they truly, you know, are passionate about, about their cause and they're truly protesting? The, no, the it's, of, it's of an sale. attention seeking thing. Like they're, they're trying to get attention. I think so too. I think so too. Roses are red. Violets are blue. I click the subscribe button. You really should too. If you like videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid, or weird, subscribe now.